military attack against the presidential palaces of Saddam Hussein. The Americans have denied the claim. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, much more than snap. Crackle. On the first day of Christmas, I think you Fairies richer, longer lasting suds mean a bottle lasts loads and loads longer than any other liquid. Christmas first. Yay! Wow, that's good. So, how was the rock festival? Glastonbury. And you would have you loved it. Relax. If you had Aerial Automatic, tests prove that Aerial performs significantly better on tough, greasy food stains than the leading rival brand. Of course, in my day, things were different. <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't wear any clothes. Relax. Aerial will get it clean. A foundation that looks great and feels soft when you put it on is no surprise. But what if I told you I put my foundation on this morning? Recent tests on Oil of Ule's first ever foundation, which combines base, lasting colour and moisturisers, reveal that it continuously moisturises, helping your skin to look flawless and feel soft into the evening. And the name? Oil of Ule's All Day Moisture Foundation. We can prove long-lasting colour can care. VL5 styling wax, moulds and shapes. So at least your hair will behave. James is, he's just rough and tumble. <laughs> well, he's just a real bouncy baby, and you know, it's sort of thud, thud, thud. I was told that that's what we're trying to simulate, the stress that's going on to that nappy. You know? So I was sort of pummeling away and at the first nappy, and it was wet. <laughs> Tried exactly the same thing with the new Pampers. Nothing was escaping, but the, the dish was dry. You know, cynic or not, I couldn't argue with that. Introducing new Pampers Extra, with an extra unisex protection sheet that draws liquid in and helps prevent wetness coming back under pressure. If he's wearing Pampers, he's staying dry. I know the nappy's not going to give up under the strain of a, you know, spending a few hours with James. He can get on with being James, can't he? New unisex Pampers Extra, the driest Pampers ever. I'm getting traces of blossom and buttercups. A faint twang of heather on a warm breeze and it's all... With new gentle breeze bounce in your dryer, mm. you get the freshness of drying outside, inside. Gentle breeze, the delicate new fragrance from bounce. And there's a whiff of hollyhocks waiting to whoosh up your nose. Cut. Still, just keep still. Okay. Face the camera, all wheels, see the close packs. Hold it up, hold it up, 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 it, that, don't pick it up. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, great. There are four amazing animals, a different one each week, when you buy any McDonald's Happy Meal. Never work with children or animals. It's the 27th of December. This is a milkshake. I'm Connie and Darren. Do you know yeah. what? Nosna is backwards. Is that Hanson? Yeah. It's funny that I couldn't think of a better link. But on yeah. New Year's Day, if you like them, you'll like this. Oh, yes. Exactly what I added. What, 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 what is the sweater? Wrong channel, and, uh, wrong tape, wrong something. Check, yeah, right, yeah, just change, just the change the channel. Change. No. Uh, There's too much snow. Hello, whoa. <laughs> I'm falling off. Here it is. Jack, 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 Jack. Jack, just turn around, turn around, please. Mmm, that's Isaac Taylor. And what's the other Zach. one called? Zach. That's it, Hanson. Make sure you catch them on a New Year's Day if you like them. But now it's time for me to go because it's time for someone else that's a bit honky, kind of. It's a George of the Jungle. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. George, George. 
George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the Jungle lives a life that's free. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the street, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And he, he, he. Then away he'll slap on his elephant, Chef Wombella, and Ursula stay in step. Where George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Watch out for that story opens today, George is preparing to swing through the jungle, while at point-blank range, a hunter is ready to shoot him. Remember, no, not too fast. Okay. Uh, ready, aim. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we better begin a little earlier. Fine with George. It really all started here in Syncopated Manor, home of the eccentric Duke of Ellington. World-renowned big game hunter. That does it, dear. With this Tasmanian aardvark, I now have a trophy head of every known animal in the world. Then why so sad, Piggy? What do I do for an encore? Oh, cheer up, dear. Here's one specimen you don't have. An ape man. But that is George of the jungle. Exactly. I think there's room for him over the fireplace. For his head, anyway. Oh, Cynthia, you are clever. So within a fortnight, whatever that is, the headhunters were within a stone's throw of George's treetop retreat. <coughs> oh, somebody within stone's throw again. Yes, maybe friendly natives. Hmm, I don't think they're natives. Not very friendly, too. You missed him, Piggy. Yes, I must find some way to lure him within gunshot. Why not take something he values highly and use it as bait? Exactly. Uh, but what? I don't know. Why not take it all? And so the next day... There. That's the lot. One of these awful-looking things must be what he treasures most. George, someone has ransacked the place. Everything's gone. Hey, you know, it looked more roomy this way. But they've taken Ursula, your beloved mate. In jungle, broken heart healed quickly. They've even taken your autographed picture of Lawrence Welk. My hero. They really know how to hurt a guy. George, get mad. <coughs> Steady, George. George, take jungle vengeance. Aided by his jungle cunning, George found the culprits in a remarkably short time. <coughs> There you are. Evil Hunter, give back Lawrence. Also, uh, him. Now's your chance, Piggy. Pull the triggy. Heart, a sitting bird. Can't be done, Cynthia. I tell you what, old boy. You let me take three shots at you. On the wing, as it were. And you can have everything back again. What keep George from taking it now? One false step, and I blow it to Flindo. No, no, you got deal. Don't, George. That's the Duke of Ellington. He wants your head for his trophy room. My head? Stuff and nonsense. Nonsense, no. Stuffed, yes. George, this is madness. True. Would make exciting plot for story, though. Who'd believe it? Ready? Ready. And this is where we came in. <laughs> the Duke took dead aim, but at the last instant... Fortunately, George had run into a thorn bush and was safe. Some kind of safe. The shot, however, shattered a tree branch which fell on the duke. That one. This time, George, I want you to run past as quickly as you can. He looks pretty fast, Piggy. 
Nobody's faster than a slug from a 50 caliber elephant gun, Cynthia. All right, George, go. And the fleet-footed ape man dashed through the tall grass as the itchy-fingered Duke drew a bead on it. Then as he emerged from a clump of wait-a-bit bush, he outran a 50 caliber slug. That's impossible. Nothing impossible when you're chased by angry rhinoceros. Rhinoceros? What rhinoceros? Dead rhinoceros. That too. But there was still one shot to go, and the desperate duke was not above cheating just a smidge. Exactly. Cynthia, hand me my bazooka. An anti-tank rocket? Oh, Piggy, do you think you should? I'll try not to damage the head. Oh, I'm so relieved. For his last shot, the Duke poised George at the top of Blind Man's Bluff. Now you dive a thousand feet into the roaring cataract. What cataract? This dry season. Then I suggest you perspire a great deal on the way down. No, George, you'll be killed. Maybe George get lucky. How? Maybe he shoot me before I hit bottom. You see, dear, I can't lose. And the jungle lord stepped forward to begin his fatal dive. But the rocks that held the board were loose and... The explosive shell missed George and struck the bottom of the gourd. Releasing an underground geyser of hot water, the geyser met George halfway. Again, the ape man was safe. In boiling water? Some kind of safe. <laughs> a geyser. Now, how often would a thing like that happen? Oh, it happens here every time a writer gets stuck for an ending. That free. Now, George, take back precious possessions. <laughs> Better take care of that coal, fella. Can't understand the word you say. Then you must return empty-handed, Your Grace. Exactly. I think I have an idea. How about... Capital idea. Wizard, I'll do it. And so, a short time later, back in syncopated manner... There's my last trophy, dear. A perfect duplicate of George's head. But, Piggy, that's just an odd-shaped lump of solid marble. Exactly. When you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking, <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for super chicken. Fred, if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. He will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss And he will bring them in alive and kicking <laughs> There is one thing you should learn when there is no one else to turn to Call the super chicken Call the super chicken This is McTasty's Gymnasium and Steam Bath And this is the pride of McTasty's Gym A 7,000 pound diamond studded dumbbell Truly a thing of beauty, McTasty Yeah, and it's worth a fortune Ain't you afraid somebody will steal it? You can... It weighs 7,000 pounds. Nobody could even lift it. Nevertheless, the very next morning, the dumbbell was gone. Ooh, ooh, my diamond studded dumbbell. It's been took. Fortunately, Henry Cabot Henhouse III was in the gym for his morning steam bath. What's happened here? Somebody took the dumbbell. Fred? Kidnapped? Who's kidnapped? Who? Fred. Somebody took Fred. Whatever for? Yes, a senseless crime. Fred, you're back. I wasn't away. It's the other dumbbell that was took. But what cook could lift up a 7,000-pound dumbbell? Only one, McTasty. The muscle, the world's strongest criminal. This looks like a job for super chicken. Get the super sauce, Fred. I'll slip out of this funny towel and into the funny suit. Well, here's looking at you. Please, I don't have my sweatshirt on. <laughs> The super sauce went to work and transformed the mighty weak Henry into the mighty strong super chicken. How come you went after you drank it? No time to explain, Fred. Come on, we've got a date with a dumbbell. To the super coop. And the mighty chicken took to the air to apprehend the muscle. <laughs> They headed right for the Muscles Health Ranch hideaway, the juice bar X, where at that moment the world's strongest criminal was toying with the 7,000-pound diamond-studded dumbbell. Gotta keep the old triceps in shape. Suddenly... 
You're under arrest, muscle. Drop that dumbbell. Hey, who are you? My name is Super Chicken. The Super Chicken? Test his prowess if you will, but never challenge his voice. Well, this is a pleasure, Super Chicken. Let me shake your hand. They're wings. Oh! Pretty feeble grip for a superhero. You need exercise. I guess you didn't hear me. You're under arrest. First things first. We gotta get you in condition. You're still under arrest. Now for a little sparring, partner. No, no, keep your beak under your left wing. Time. What for? Super Chicken has something to say. Yes. You're under. Yes. Ah, uh, rest. But it's not time for a rest yet. Well, it was one exhausting exercise after another. The rope climb up a burning rope. Oh! Indian wrestling with a real Indian. <laughs> and the muscle zone vibrating machine. Keep shaking. I'll get some wheat germ and virus milk. Fred, all this exercise has worn off my super sauce. Wait, I'll mix up another batch. Double strength. And Fred quickly mixed the super, super sauce. Very quick. It's burning my hands through these asbestos gloves. Down the hatch. The super, super sauce went to work, and in seconds, the puny bullet was transformed into a bed at the county hospital. Little strong, was it? I'd say that, yes. Must have put in too much mustard. Well, what do you say, old buddy? I say, you're under arrest. You look a little peaked. The doctor says he'll be up and around in a month or so. Nonsense. What you need is exercise. And the muscle took Super Chicken for a brisk 10-mile run back to the health farm. Now we're going to chop wood together, you and me. Together? Yeah. I must be the chopper, and you must be the axe. Okay? Five minutes break, and then it's push-ups time. Super Chicken, what has he done to you? Name it. Gee, he's just too much muscle. We better give up. Nonsense. Go mix another batch of super sauce. Triple strength. But the double strength blew you to smithereens. Trust me, Fred. And Fred reluctantly made up a batch of super, super, super sauce. Time's up. Muscle, you're under arrest. Again? Here's the super, super, super sauce. Good. Drink it, Fred. Right. Mm -hmm. I drank the sauce. Good heavens. I'll blow up. Let me worry about that, Fred. Now, Muscle, I'll bet you you can't pick up Fred with one hand and hold him till I count three. Easy. You lose. Not yet. One, two. And Fred and the Muscle were both transformed into twin beds at the county hospital. You finally got me, Super Chicken. Don't thank me. Thank Fred. Don't thank me. I knew the job was dangerous when I took it. Now to return the 7,000-pound diamond studded dumbbell. Careful, Super Chicken. Rest easy, Fred. This is child's play for... <laughs> the mighty chicken had done it again. So when you hear that cry in the sky... <laughs> you'll know it's coming from the 32nd floor of the county hospital. Tom Slick, Tom Slick, let me tell you why, he's the best of all good guys. Tom Slick, Tom Slick, in the thunderbolt we slap her once he's on your Welcome to the Muncie, Indiana Fairgrounds and the start of the Buster Baines Memorial Blimp Race. Here's our sponsor, Stretch Snapback, president of the Bad Year Blubber Company. Makers of Bad Year products for home industry and banking. Remember, folks, if your check bounces, it's a bad year. Many thanks, Stretch. The blimps are moving toward the starting line. There's the starting gun. There's our first casualty. 
It's Whitehead, Danny Drop, and the Wood Prop Cloud Pusher. Why, fur, did you shoot a big raggedy hole into my balloon? I told you, folks, it's a bad year. There goes Fletch Sparrow and the Twin Screw Barn Jumper. And here in the converted Thunderbolt Grease Slapper, the Blimp Racer's Blimp Racer, Mr. Hot Air himself, Tom Slick. Yay! Thanks, Hot Air fans. But where are Tom's great and good friends, Gertie Growler and Marigold? We're over here competing in the William Tell Arrow Shoot and Love In, Bobby. Stand still, Marigold. Drat, I missed. Here comes Tom, Gertie. Look at him scorching along. Scorching? I can run faster than that in my hippie boots. <laughs> missed again. Bringing up the rear is the sinister-looking chain drive Skyhooker. Highlighted by the Bum Sport, Bum Sport, Baron Automatic. Correction, it's me, Crutcher, the Toady Toady. That's the Baron. Pay attention to your racing, Clutcher. This time, I take care of the dirty tricks. If you want the wrong thing done right, do it yourself, I always say. And you know what I always say? That's what I always say. The blimps are heading for the turning pylon, and the Tom Slick takes the lead. Yay! Well raced, Tom Slick. Many thanks, good sport, Fledge Sparrow. I think I'm going to be sick. Tom Slick is out of front, Master. You had better do something quick. Something else. Very well. Now you will see how a real schlemiel could stop Tom Slick. With a cassava melon? <laughs> but one of these cassava melons is really a bum. Listen to it tick. Ow! Drat! Missed again. A little arrow wouldn't stop Baron Automatic. Here, Tom Slick, from a well-wisher. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Wisher. Mmm, it's delicious. Baron, you feel Tom Slick a real melon. Then where's the one that's ticking? Where? Where, 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 where? Ah, hear it! Is Tom Slick is almost at the halfway point with a commanding lead. Yay! Keep at it, Tom. You move. And a good thing, too, Bertie. But what is this? The pylon is moving. If I were the swearing type, I'd swear that pylon is moving. Oh, come on now. I can't get around it if it keeps moving. Baron. Is that you doing that? Of course. I'll keep ahead of Tom Slick till he runs out of gas. Then I will bring the pylon back for you to go around. Oh, clever master. Yes, Clutcher. All it takes is a little... Ow! 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 I just hate to have people drop in unexpectedly. And Tom turns the pylon and streaks for home. Yay! Well, right next to my Baron. Besides that, I mean. Here's fifty dollars. Stop the Ferris wheel when I get to the top. You're the boss. You noticed that, did you? And I shall help my beloved master by ramming Tom Slick. Uh oh, the chain drive Skyhooker is changing course. It's heading right for the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper. Tom Slick, I am going to put a crimp in your blimp at point blank range. Tom is in double danger, Gertie. So are you, hon. I've got two arrows left. Ready? Aim. I thought you wanted to stay on top. The heavy cannonball hurtles toward Tom from the rear as the skyhooker charges him from the front. That's mighty sloppy steering, fellow. But at the last instant, Tom swerves aside and avoids a nasty collision. Yay! But what about the cannonball? Sorry, I guess. On your feet, Clutcher. I still have one dirty trick left. But our blimp is blowing. We can't win now. There are more important things than winning, Clutcher. Such as? Cheating, for one thing. Come on. The desperate Baron is going to make a last attempt to down Tom Slick. Whoa. Hear that crowd, Clutcher? <laughs> kind of gets you right here, doesn't it? No, it gets me right here. See? When I give the word, you light the fuse, and it's kablooey, Tom Slick. Yes, Master, I... <laughs> <laughs>
Not yet, Claudio. Not yet. Hmm. The fireworks are supposed to start at seven. And the winner in a blinding finish, Tom Slick. Yay! Congratulations, Tom. As usual, Marigold. <laughs> yeah, missed again. But, Gertie, you hit the apple fair and square. What makes you think I was aiming for the apple? George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for that tree! Oh! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the street, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ding, ding, ding! Then away he'll slap on his elephant chef, while fella and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Ah, watch out for that tree! Watch out for that tree! George, George of the Jungle, friend, you and me. And that was a George there of the Jungle. Oh. We've been asking you for your emails, but who you'd like to kiss under the mistletoe? And I've got some replies here. Hi, Connie and Lucy. Tell you who I'd like to kiss under the mistletoe. Father Christmas, every year he brings me and my sister Laura and my brother Anthony presents, yet we never get a chance to thank him properly, so I'd like to kiss him. And that's from Charlotte Halliday, who's eight years old in St Albans in Hertfordshire, and she says, P.S. Happy Christmas. Um, also, another Charlotte, Charlotte Howard, says she would like to kiss Ronan Keating under the mistletoe because he is a totally gorgeous. Merry Christmas to everyone at Milkshake, she says, and she's 10 years old and she's from Essex. So thank you to both of the Charlottes for who they'd like to kiss under the mistletoe. Who would you like to kiss? If you know, email us. I will be back in just a moment. Maybe you can think about it. We're here to check out new fresher dares. Hey, you can't get much sweaty than that. <laughs> Definitely taking my life in my hands here. Yeah. Oh, fellas! Hey! Oh, I can't use his dares. Oh, you, you don't even know what I mean, do you? I'll tell you what, fellas, yeah, come on with that. I think by the smell of it, you definitely need it. Yeah, all right. Almost every time you eat, your teeth are attacked by plaque acid. So in theory, the best thing is to brush after every meal and snack. In practice, when that's not possible, you can chew. Because chewing Orbit, or Wrigley's Extra, produces more of your mouth's natural defense saliva, which, as your dentist will tell you, helps neutralize plaque acid fast and strengthen teeth against decay throughout the day. So whenever you eat, chew. Is this an escudo or a ruble? Hmm? It's an escudo. I've got a sucre. Where's that from? Find out in Money of the World, a great new way to build up a collection of money and a bank of knowledge too. Money of the World starts you off with a real American silver half dollar and a Peruvian intis. Discover the power of money and how it's changed. What do you reckon this is worth? It's worth finding out, Dad. <laughs> money of the World. It's the only collection that counts. Issue 199p. Uncle Pete, Mum always puts paper down. <laughs> Mum never lets the dog in. Mum always puts the wig on. And Mum always uses these. Mum works too hard. All I need is flash all purpose. It's not just for floors, but great on other surfaces too. And use neat on really tough marks, it's brilliant. Easy. Your mum will never know. Flash all purpose does the hard work, so you don't have to. Welcome to Britain's biggest ever computer sale at PC World now. Massive savings throughout the store. PC World. Don't miss out.
Is it 5 sixteenths or 9 30 seconds? Does it take a standard socket or metric? What you need is Gator Grip. No matter what size the bolt, small, medium, or large, Gator Grip will fit it. Gator Grip is quality made in the USA. The secret is these 54 spring-loaded pins. They retract to form tightly around whatever size bolt you have. Watch in slow motion with part of the casing removed so you can see the steel pins in action. Gator Grip is so versatile it can tackle these wing nuts. Eye bolts, too. It can also take care of those square nuts. And look, it can even remove broken nuts, strip nuts, and rusted nuts quickly and easily. Gator Grip always holds securely. It delivers over 100 foot-pounds of torque. Gator Grip comes complete with this quality drive ratchet. It's the only tool you'll need, and it's yours now through this special TV offer. Order now, and you'll also get this power adapter that turns any drill or power screwdriver into a power Gator Grip. It gets the job done in no time. Imagine all the convenience of Gator Grip and power, too. This is one offer you won't want to miss, so get a grip. Get Gator Grip now. Now available around the world from Interwood. To order, call 0990 601155 or make your check payable to Gator Grip Deluxe and send it to the address on screen. If lines are busy, call later, but do call now. All over Britain, more people will be able to save in the double discount sale from today, including New Year's Day at DFS. Not only is everything reduced, everything's free for a year, too. Take three years free credit and pay nothing for the first year. We're even doubling the sale discount on many items. This leather settee is only 598. This settee is only 499. Sale prices, double discount, three years free credit, and everything free for a year from today, including New Year's Day at DFS. Welcome back. In just a moment, we've got a five news update. But before we have that, let's have a milkshake news update. Top headline is Posh Spice's Christmas present. Did you know Posh Spice got a £13,000 necklace from her footballer boyfriend, David Beckham? Can you believe that? That's all years of wages to and some people. And she still doesn't smile. Oh dear, that's not very nice, Darren. Also, open today after burning down some years ago is Windsor Castle. It cost £36 million pounds to mm. restore. Whew. So a lot of money in today's milkshake news. But now, without further ado, it's time for the real news. The news update. It's nine o'clock, I'm Peter Lane. The government's been warned that its plans to force drug-addicted criminals to undergo treatment are seriously flawed. A report out today says that in most areas, the arrangements to supervise offenders are inadequate. But ministers say they have plans to tackle the problem. The government is bringing forward a drug treatment and testing order which is going to be part of the Crime and Disorder Bill, which is coming before Parliament uh, at the moment and will occupy a good deal of Parliament's time in the coming weeks and months. A murder inquiry has been launched after a motorist died in an apparent road rage attack. Richard Casely got out of his vehicle when the driver behind flashed his lights at him. He was then struck while standing on the central reservation. An 18-year-old man later gave himself up at a police station. Shoppers are set to get bumper price cuts as the New Year sales get underway about now. Slack sales in the run-up to Christmas could mean even bigger price cuts than usual. Experts say the best bargains are likely to be clothes and shoes. Windsor Castle is about to reopen for the first time since it was struck by fire in 1992. More than 100 rooms were damaged by the blaze, including nine staterooms. The restoration cost more than £36 million. Quick look at the weather, mostly dry in eastern areas with some sunshine. Further west it'll be showery and blustery. Top temperature, 8 degrees Celsius. I'll have more news in an hour. Now it's back to Milkshake with Connie. Thank you very much. Did you see that news about the Christmas sales? Apparently there's going to be bargains galore because people didn't spend that much on their Christmas presents. So good luck if you're going to those sales. They must be absolutely crowded. Um, <laughs> other news that I've got now. Um, storms have been taking place in the north of England. And so if you're watching us and you're in the north, you're quite lucky because a lot of people were left without power. So they won't be able to watch a milkshake today. What a shame. Four days until 1998 as well. So... Um, 
if you've got a diary, you've only got four pages left. There you have it. Here's our milkshake address now. It is milkshake at channel5.co.uk. Milkshake at channel5.co.uk. But now it's the first part in the Night Rider double wheel. Diamonds aren't a girl's best friend, but I think they are Posh Spice's they best friend. She's got a £13,000 necklace for Christmas. Lucky her. I want to find out who killed her. That's why I'm here. Beautiful models, all bringing in fortunes and jewelry.